Okay, it's top Aurelia. Actually, a fun matchup. Enemy comp is really bad against me, not gonna lie. I think our draft looks very solid. I'm not sure if I can hit rank one, but I'll do my absolute best. Every move you made, I was watching you. As it has become my mission to learn how League of Legends truly works and share this information with everyone, following my fundamental lading course, I now present to you the mid to late game tempo course. This is my newest course and it goes over everything that you need to know about the mid to late game, such as team fighting, split pushing, and how to have high CS and many more topics. Having both the fundamental and the mid to late game tempo course will give you all the information that you need to perform the best at any stage of the game and reach your dream rank. This course will be 20% off for my whole content trip to Korea from late July to the end of August, only on my site at loisinel.com. Oh, this is Arrow King, no? Okay, chats, we have to lane against Arrow King first time. Place TP, interesting choice. I don't want to get destroyed. He goes W start. He can W like six minions here. Okay. Yeah, I'm focused, bro. Solo killed our king though. Oh, well, I got his flash for nothing. Well, Nico was there, so got mid gapped. And Pike is there. That looks like we're already getting mid gapped and bot gapped. But Nico Viego are just from my top side. How can play, bro? Bot lane losing. Yeah, there's a tiny team up going on, sadly. I'm laning 3v1, man! I'm laning 3v1! Nico and Viego have been top twice and Pike was here once. My bot is still losing, my mid jungle is still getting stomped too. Now I can't play here, because he has ult. He's making the wave push back towards me. That's nice. He played this pretty bad. The way he's pushing into me now. He could have made the wave push towards him, and he has ult advantage, so that's bad played by him actually. I think he recognizes that now too. Now I'm not under pressure. And look, at, look who's coming into top side again. And my Lucet Giovanni is gonna play into bot lane that's already getting stomped 2v2. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, nice. It's something. Okay, nice, I guess. They are lucky I've killed Aurelia twice. Please don't freeze. Third solo kill, bro! 3v1! Third solo kill, bro! Who is it? Me. And that again, that again, no worries about it. Ah! I deserve the win. Win for 20 gifts? Yeah? 
My botlane finally got some stuff happening for them. Let's see what I can do. Now I'm gonna be the one piggy freezing. They still have Herald. Well, my Eddie Carry is actually strong now. Yeah, this was obvious. Sucks, 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 sucks. So obvious. Even spam pink the Herald, but I can't play for my teammates. Guys had two items, Nico is fed. Well, I can always say that I solo killed Aurelia King three times in legit 2v1 lane. Or like 3v1 lane. Nico has been top three times, Viego been top two times, Paiko's top. I didn't get anything. I legit had three solo bolos in 2v1 scenarios. Legit. Is this Catapult, the by the way? Yeah, Materia on the world, thank you for the tier seriously. one. Two v one again. Two v one again. No biggie. Two v one again. No biggie. He almost arrow kinked me there though. Right, balance champion, bro. No team gap. Just a team gap. Can I win? I cannot do more. I have five solo kills and every solo kill is 2v1. Every kill is 2v1. I'm facing the hardest battle. I'm playing as one of the best players. 3v1, bro. And look, my teammate still. What, what else do you want me to do? How about? <laughs> Nico's like. <laughs> he was dead again, but yeah, I forgot I played 3v1 this game. I forgot. I must have forgot I played 3v1. No, but it's just normal for Nico to, to, to walk in through that lane when Riven should 100% be recalled there, but don't worry about it, Nico's just there. How many Nico ults have we seen top chat? The fact I'm still 6 and 4 is a miracle. No, we have two dragons, because enemy team has lived in top lane. It's like their second house, you know? Ah, look who's there. Another friend. Kai's at three items, though. Sheesh! Take my war too, thank you for being topside. Appreciate it, boss. Bro, I, I've solo killed her five times, and Nico has been top five times. I don't know, you guys seen it, you guys have seen the game. This is a game that I deserve to win in every regard. <laughs> I don't know why I run away. You disgusting little piggies. <laughs> Cannon bros. Do, 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 do. My team woke up or what? No, oh, maybe we can win. I'm scared of Nico somewhere ganking me. Nico hates me this game. Where did my Q go? Kata? Kata! Katarina! 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 Ah, but my Aphelios just got one shot. This is not good. Ah, but how do we get caught? Katarina! Bro, I, need, I really need to win this now. If I lose this, I'll be extremely sad, unironically. On, on, on I'll be really sad if I lose this game somehow now. And we got third dragon here. Should be pretty massive. I mean, we have Rakan against Spike late game. Rakan should be like five times Spike champion. Scared of Nico. Yes. Yes. No! 
Jesus! Oh, they all ping me. They all ping me. They all ping me. Look, they all ping me. They know I won't be ninth. They know I did it. Look, it's Riven. They all pinged me. Oh, oh! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Hey! Chat, we did it! 3v1 top and we solo killed him five times! It was legit 3v1 top. 3v1 top whole game, bro. Nico was here, Diego came here, Pike came here, that's four. And then Aurelia. Dish, 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 dish. <laughs> no, that was the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. No, it's a 20. Thank you for the 30, bro. <laughs> my entire team was losing. We were we were 4k gold down in 60 minutes, and that's why I already had four solo kills. Like, let's watch some of the let's watch some of the plays with the chat. Let's watch some of the plays with it before we queue up. I have so much dopamine in my body right now. I probably can't focus. Let's watch some of these kills, man. So here this is like the first real skirmish we do. He's doing some Araoking things. I needed this medium for level 4. He plays for level 4 as well. We get his flash, okay? I still have my flash. And then, boom, this is the first time. Viego comes top. I'm like, okay, we fight. I wanted to recall, you know? So I wanted to fight. But then, first solo ball right here. Double cast. But here's the first time when there's two people top. As Dopa once said, Arrow King is the best one trick in the world. There's now a new one. So that's the first solo kill on Arrow King. He TPs mid, he gets two waves here. And Pike was top as well. So, I mean, yeah. There's just so many people top already, right? Already Nico, Viego, Pike top. We collect a wave here. Look what I did. I held it a little bit out of the turret range here. So now you see this next wave is actually going to be held just about outside of turret range. So I tried to make Aurelia lose a full wave here. And because of this, he wanted to recall, but he actually has to stay now. And he's pinging missing, I think, because I actually froze this wave. So he's losing a full wave here. That makes him stay. Fundamentals, guys. Fundamentals. You know, we have to use the fundamentals here still with the wave manipulation and shit, right? Aurelia wanted to recall. He has... Okay, he could have gotten like a long sword. But yeah, we, we froze the wave. And now we get a pretty good trade-off to him because it's close to our turret, right? And now we hold the wave here outside of turret range. So we have a perma freeze here. Fundamentals once again. And now because of those, now we get a good trade. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm scared that Viego's pathing into top again because Viego full cleared into topside last time. So I know Viego's coming into topside here again. So I'm legit gonna hard push this wave because I know Viego is coming topside right now. And I see Nico is getting prior. So I'm like, you know what? I have to hard push this wave. I have to hard push this wave here. But look what Arrow King does. Smart, of course. He's gonna freeze the wave. Why? Because his Viego and Nico are, are, are coming into topside, right? So I can't play here. I'm spamming that I need help. I'm spamming that I need help here. Because look, he's just freezing the wave. What can I do? I know Nico and Viego are coming top. So I have the luck here that they're actually going here instead. Because they could, for, for all I know, they're behind me here. Vesting me. So right now, I know I'm close to level 6. I know I get 6 a little bit faster than him. So I'm gonna try and use the fact that I get level 6 faster than here to push the wave. So now I start using my Q because I know it will get me 6. And now I'm scared of them coming topside, right? But I use this as a way to push the wave. So there we go. We got the wave to crash and now it will bounce back. Even though I have more means now, you see his mean wave is arriving much faster than mine. So this is actually bouncing to me right now. So I know that I can walk away now. But you see, look, I'm playing weak side all game. Like, look where my jungler is, look where enemy Viego is, like, the whole game, pretty much. So I can never fight. Even though I hard win the 1v1 here, I have to be respectful. So see how perfect I'm playing here, considering the scenario. And this is what's happening permanently. I saw, I really miss her Q here. In-game, I was legit thinking, he probably missed Q to bait a gank. And, and guess what? I was right. I don't think Aurelia loses Q there on accident. Look. He, he missed his Q right here. And I remember, legit, my thought in-game was, he probably did this to bait a gank. Look. He killed this minion. And I legit thought here, ah, he's probably baiting a gank. A and he was. Right? So I'm playing extremely respectful, because I have to the whole game. The whole game I have to respect so hard. I've already been respecting here for for two minutes now, right? I can't even fight him here. I would just win the one one so easy. But I know I have to perma weak sided, perma weak sided. And now I'm like, you know what? It's under my turret. What are the odds that they are still here? What are the odds, right? What are the odds they're still here? We dodged the E, he's dead. They're both here. Again, again, they are both here, right? So it's the second time Viego and Nico are top or yeah Yeah, Viego and Nico are top, but in the meantime, they are also Permanently hovering top, right? It's not only the gank itself. It's also when they are hovering top So we get a dragon and in the meantime look I've gotten two solo kills 
in a 3v1 scenario and look at the team score. My bot, 0-2, my jungler, 0-3, 0-2, 1-1. -1. And this is a repetition for the whole game. So now, like, the wave is bouncing into the Aurelia, right? This wave is pushing into Aurelia right now. Why? Because my main waves are right faster. But look what I do here. I know that Aurelia still has ult here. I cannot play 1v1. But if you guys remember what I said in game, I'm trying to make him hit the means. So this Q was pretty fast, right? And look how I'm spacing. I'm spacing half aggressive. And the reason I'm spacing half, half aggressive is because I want Aurelia to Q the means here. She Qs here, and now she auto attacks me, which is what I want, because I want my means to hit her. And now when she Qs this minion, now I know, okay, this wave is actually pushing back into me again, which is what I need, because Aurelia is ult right now, and I don't for, fifth, for a full minute, right? So with Aurelia making this wave push back into me, now I can actually play the game again, right? If this wave was pushing towards Aurelia, GG! Fundamentals again, chat. You see, fundamentals is what's keeping me in this game permanently, right? My fundamentals is what keeps me in this game. Not necessarily anything mechanically. I needed this wave to push into me. If Aurelia made this wave push towards her, my game is over. But now I can actually play again. We play it out, we get a small trade. Again! Who's top side? Who's bot side? Nico and Viego. Again, top side. The whole laning phase. 2v1. Whole laning phase. And look how, look how much I have to respect permanently. Even though I have, I don't even have big gold lead. So now it's the first time I get a teammate top, Rakan is hovering, and I just use the Rakan hover to push out this wave. That's all I want. I only want to push out this wave so that the wave will bounce back into me again and then I'm safe. And I'm gonna stay because I hard win the 1v1. And look at this. I fight. Wait, where, when did Nico even come top? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! How can play, bro? Look at this little pig! Look at him! Watch it. That's me, chat. That's me. That's me. 2v1. Again, 2v1. Again. Again. And guess what? He comes out ahead. Again. Look at him freezing the wave here. Watch again, chat. Two v one again. No, that was not fundamentals. That was mechanics. All right, chat. Another two v one. Guess what? My entire team got murdered. My entire team got murdered at Herald. Right? My entire team is ending whole game. Oh, guess what, guys? Two v one top again. Yeah. Wow, this is like number five, right? So we instead have to flash, have HP, Q delaying as per usual. Stop! Stop the Viego W. Five times 2v1 against Iraq King. Yep. Yeah, we did that.